States has made one thing consistently clear. Throughout this time of transition, the United States will continue to stand up for freedom, stand up for justice, and stand up for the dignity of all people. We will stand up! A stirring statement of principle that was soon put to the test. This morning, six people were killed as troops, many of them believed to be from Saudi Arabia, stormed a landmark square in Bahrain's capital where anti-government protesters had been camped. Wow, peaceful pro-democracy protesters getting killed in the streets by their own regime. There's no way our freedom-supporting administration is going to stand for this, Batman. We urge maximum restraint on uh, the government of Bahrain and, and, and uh, everyone else uh, in Bahrain. All sides need to exercise maximum restraint. Yes, maximum restraint. Both sides need to tone down everything, except obviously the amount of restraint they're using. The Bahrain and Saudi Arabia need to stop shooting the protesters, and the protesters need to stop getting in the way. Why do the rebels in Libya get the help of hundreds of Tomahawk missiles, whilst those in Bahrain get a, hey, tone it down, will you? John Oliver is here to help explain. Thank you. John, John, for years, America has been offering help to freedom-loving peoples in a variety of forms, tailor-made to their particular situations. But look, John, you don't want me to tell you about it. Hmm? You want me to show you. What? Why don't you follow me for a second? Sure. John, too often, countries think of approaching civil war as a catastrophe, whereas in reality, it's a catastrophe I'm talking about America's freedom packages, John. Please. Freedom packages. Freedom packages, John. Which is right for you? That's what I'm so pumped to tell you about today. John, can any country apply for one of America's freedom packages? Absolutely, John. Let's say you're a country suffering atrocities at the hand of a brutal regime, but your nation is of no strategic importance and you have little in the way of natural resources, let alone potable water. That sounds like a Sudan. That is such a great example. Here, Sudan. For you're the Sudan, where religious strife, civil war and famine have killed millions. The US then offers what we call the ambivalence package. Ooh, that sounds ambiguous. Mm -hmm. What would the Sudan get for that? Well, hold on. Why don't we start with what you don't get? No committed verbal, financial or physical support from the US government, but we will express periodic interest in your plight and you'll receive limited access to Bono. Sean Penn, Angelina Jolie, George Clooney, and anyone who's ever been in a movie with George Clooney. Pending, John. Pending. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pending, John, their personal schedules and the chance they'll contract dysentery in your nation. Wow. Mm -hmm. But that's not the package Egypt got. Absolutely not, John, because Egypt... Egypt has what the United States calls strategic value. Ooh. That sounds expensive. Mm -hmm. I bet they get troops. Oh, no, 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 no. But they do, John, get the silver freedom package. That's, that's where America will acknowledge your protesters' plight as reflecting the legitimate will of the people and will even throw in a series of vaguely supportive but high-level statements. We're not advocating any specific outcome. We are advocating that uh, the government, the representatives of the uh, civil society, the political opposition and activists begin a dialogue to chart a course. Wow, that was hard for me to even tell who she was supporting there. <laughs> exactly, John. That's the silver package almost guarantee. <laughs> the military tomahawks with the missiles uh, no, and the no. fighting and the blowing up. John, that's the platinum package. They don't qualify for that. I'll tell you why. It's a funny story because their despot was actually our friend. It's not actually that funny a story, but I think even impoverished peasants yearning to be free wouldn't want us to bomb a friend. I don't know why they would. Right. 
But what if the dictator that I'm rebelling against mm -hmm. is a sworn enemy of the United States? Oh, I like where this is going. And my country uh -huh. sits atop uh -huh. a veritable ocean of oil. Ooh, John. Then you've just qualified for the platinum package. <laughs> wow. Is that, is that keep going? Is that the... Is that... That's nice. Is that the package Iraq took? Yes, the second time. <laughs> the platinum package includes a full-scale invasion, overthrowing your tyrannical government and helping rebuild the roads, schools and hospitals that were destroyed in our full-scale invasion. That looks shockingly awesome! That's because it is! Hey, can Iran's protesters get that? Oh, no, I mean, that's... John, that's a pretty formidable army there. That'd be a long, drawn-out, bloody conflict. I but the it. people there yearn to be free. Well, John, they don't get to decide. That's the best part here. It's not up to them. We decide what freedom package you get and when you get it. So, listen to me. Freedom-seeking people of the Middle East, get out there in the streets and put your lives on the line, because America might be right behind you. Freedom may cause America to experience unintended consequences, including but not limited to inflammation of local or ethnic tensions, strengthening of one or more of America's traditional enemies, current allies becoming future enemies who one day use American-supplied rocket launchers against us, jobless unmarried 19-year-old men with dynamite underwear may wish to take out frustrations on freedom package suppliers. If you experience an insurrection lasting over four months, seek diplomatic attention immediately. Offer not valid in West Bank or Gaza.